Welcome back, ladies and gents, to the Crew 2. Now, some new cars have just dropped in the Crew 2, and today you are not seeing not one, well, as you can see by the title and thumbnail, but two. As you can see there, we are going to do the Rally Raid Expert Pack today. Now, in this, we are getting two amazing Rally Raid vehicles. We are getting... The Land Rover Defender Works V8 70th edition, which we'll, we will be kicking off with. And then later on, we will be in this insane looking thing. The Jeep Moab Quicksand Concept. I expect so many high things of that. It's not even funny. But we'll, quit, we'll start with the Land Rover. We'll buy the pack for 400,000. That's quite a lot. And we'll get right to it. So let's start with the Land Rover, shall we? Right, so here we go. It is level 52 out of 140 so far. So let's see what we can bump this up to. Oh, juicy, juicy parts. And uh, unlike AR-12, I can actually bump my vehicles all the way up to max level because I'm not a spoon. So let's see, last performance part, and boom! So we're at 140 out of 140. 150 miles an hour, 550 pound uh, brake horsepower, not pound feet at all, what am I going on about? 0 to 16, 2.7 seconds, that's fast! That's very fast! Let there be visual performance, please let there be visual. Oh, 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 you let me down, game. Oh, let's do the tyres anyway. Let's get some off roady chunkies on this boy. I don't like any of them. I'm sticking with them. So. Let's go and try this out in a rally raid race, shall we? But right off the bat, I want to see how it generic handling, generic. I'll. That's better. Right, let's see if it's got a good throaty little V8. Okay, not bad. But it's uh, responsive off the line. Let's see what the two is. Let's see what the. Well, it's a Land Rover. It's quite basic, but still, it's quite nice. I dig it. And the wheels actually look dope. So, without further ado, oh, it does have some good crackle. Okay, so let's go into the event finder. Let's see what we've got. So, got Rally Raid. Uh, let's do High Speed Drifter. We don't, haven't done this one on Ace before, so let's see what we've got. Three, so here we go. Two, let's see how it performs. One. Gearbox has weird ratios for off-roading. Don't know what that's about, but that is something that I may be able to tune down or I'll have to ask my very good friend Savvy on that because he is the Crew 2 guru. If you don't know who Savvy is, check him out on Twitter. I'll put his handle up on the screen now. He is the Crew 2 guru for tuning and what cars are the current Meta, if you will. So let's... Oh, let's go all muddy because we're a Land Rover and we like the mud. But so far, it's stable. I say that as I crash. But it is... It is slow. 
It is very slow. Would help if I weren't bushwhacking it. I am so far behind the objective, it's not funny. Well, that's what you got. Through the trees! I'm waiting for it to actually pick up again. Come on, catch the objective! He's right there, but because of the shitty gearbox, I can't do anything about it! failed it by half a second. Oh, uh, that's a real shame. That's a real shame because this thing had so much potential. And it's just a shame it didn't live up to it. But without further of ado, let's... Uh, Let's hop into the Jeep Moab, and for the love of God, I pray there's customization. I don't think there will be, because it's already dope, but uh, for the love of baby Jesus. There it is. So it's naturally 97 out of 140, higher than the Land Rover by far, but let's jack this baby up and see what we are actually able to do as I run out of parts, but again, unlike AR-12, I can actually get max performance out of it. So there we go, 140 out of 140. Top speed, 149 again, but it says now 828 horsepower. That is considerably more than the Land Rover. Now, Please, Lord, please let there be customers at. Oh. Wait. Did I just see the exhaust by the front wheel? So let's see what this baby sounds like and then we'll find the exhaust. Ooh. I will say, right off the bat, she's a dirty looking thing, isn't she? Oh, and it has a nice gearbox as well. That isn't at weird tiny ratios. Right, so let's do that event again that we failed at and see if the Jeep can outdo the Land Rover. Three. Here we go. Let's see what this Jeep is made of. Good launch off the line. Decent NOS bottle. And it can go faster than 12. It's already doing better than Land Rover. See, the Land Rover, I thought it would look all tame, but be an off-road king, but no. Oh! That's my bad, that's my bad. Still got it, though. That was a bottom clenching great with the AI there. See, even though 
it says we're going the same speed as the Land Rover, it feels faster. Simply because it can hold its speed! Come on. We were further behind than this when we crashed in the Land Rover. Come on, big Jeep boy. You're supposed to have 800 horsepower! It's 300 more than the Land Rover! He's still going the same shitty top speed! Come on. I'm praying a catch up. I'm praying. I can smell him! Come on! Come on! Come on, every little drop of dust! Whoo! And that, boys and girls, shows how much better this thing is. I had a full on blown collision incident with this thing, came to a standstill. And it just came back for a victory. So, in conclusion then, what can I say about the Rally Raid Expert Pack? Now, the Land Rover is very photogenic. It's very classic in shape. It looks nice. Handles nice, but it's so down on power. And with that funky gearbox, it takes it out of the running to be a genuinely like light vehicle. But this Jeep Moab, it's insane in handling. The suspension wants to kill you. The 800 horsepower or classic American horsepower, i.e. it's all shout and no go. But out of the two, I would much rather have the Jeep. I'm sorry, it's just such a cool looking thing that how could you say no to it you, you can't it everyone loves a big crazy jeep but anyway this has been the rally raid expert pack with both the land rover and the jeep moab quicksand concept i have been your host mr gage this has been the crew too and i'll see you all in the next video whatever it may well be peace